Hi-yo, Weltenbar Club. Starting with a challenge, a trash bashing challenge. Scratch building from trash. I'll go for science fiction post-apocalyptic. This is my trash. I found some, yeah, plastic stuff. There is this kind of uh, water bubble, a soap bubble squirt gun, and some lids and caps and buckets and whatnot. And um, some tin stuff. It's cans that seem to have been in the fire or something. At first I need to take a look at all the parts and try to find out how to fit them together. And then uh, take apart the stuff that can be salvaged into smaller pieces, maybe decorations and details. Pretty quick I found out that those tubes and cans will not look good on their own. So I uh, found some packaging styrofoam for some walls. This is my favorite phase of a build like this, this experimenting with the shape, find shapes that fit together and um, make a nice basic structure. I'm sanding down all those super flat, uh, unsticky surfaces so the glue and the paint will stick better to it. So this uh, big tube needs some decoration. It looks uh, boring. So I'll cut some uh, cardboard strips and then uh, glue them on it. And some rivets. This is work I don't like at all. A quick base coat in uh, chrome graffiti vandal spray paint. Some uh, light coats of orange and dark gray and brown for some rust flavor. And then my chipping medium. <laughs> It's water. I just put water drops onto the spray paint. Uh, they won't soak in, they will stay there as pearls. Then I spray on top of those water pearls and then uh, blow them away again and wash them away. And then you have a chipping effect. So I think it's the cheapest chipping I can come up with. Uh, after that a really dark wash and then uh, let's see what it looks like. With the help of some toothpicks and uh, other wooden sticks, I built one wall section where the cans uh, can sit in. Some other wooden pieces will become walkways and stuff like that. So let's just build a little bit. Dealing some damage to those uh, concrete corners with my monstrous fingernails and sticking in some wire. So it looks like a broken edge of a concrete wall and some rebar sticking out. On to the fun part. Let's slap some watered down plaster on it. It's a real mess, it's real fun, I love it. You could be a patient and wait until stuff is dry, but uh, you can just slap a wash on a not dried plaster and basically wash it all off again. So uh, the fun part is gone now. Let's see <laughs> how we can fix this. Yeah, it is fixed, but uh, I forgot to film it. <laughs> Basically, I put some more plaster on it. In the plaster, I put some red color, so it's got this margin concrete look now. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, disasters happen and uh, they are, I guess, they're necessary for the learning process. <laughs>
I love those fire burnt uh, spray cans, but they now they look a little bit boring. So I'll mask off some uh, areas I want to add some more color on, but with a chipping effect. Uh, let's see how that goes. And now that my basic shape is masked, I will show you my chipping medium. It is plaster. <laughs> So you put wet plaster on uh, the surface, then spray on it so it cannot dry and then wash it off again. <laughs> also a really cheap chipping medium. Look what we found here! The insides of an old bucket. It's paint and paint and paint. Yeah, let's use it. Ladders and walkways. Enough said. Cool rust! Yeah, it's natural rust. Yeah, now we need smaller parts. We need decoration, we need details. So yeah, just going through the pile of uh, stuff and uh, combining and painting and gluing and uh, yeah, that's basically it. After I put on all those details, I give the complete thing a black wash to pull it together. At this point, I thought it is done. Uh, so I put it out in the sun, made some nice photos with minis. Yeah, but it still wasn't done. It's, it's boring, I don't know. Something is missing. Let's put some dust on it. Those are soft pastels. I just scratch some dust from them with a hobby knife directly onto the build. And some PVA for some fine foam flock. Then some dust again. Then some PVA for some rough, bigger pieces of foam flock. Yeah, and back and forth and back and forth until I like it. So now would be the perfect time to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, write a comment. Yeah, and if you like it uh, really much, you could support me on Patreon or check out all the links down below. See ya!